Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be discussing natural methods of handling diphtheria. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Diphtheria is a serious bacterial infection that usually affects the nose and throat. Most people become infected after inhaling the bacteria and then develop a thick gray or yellowish or greenish membrane in the back of their throats that may cause difficulty in breathing. Signs and symptoms of diphtheria usually develop two to five days after a person becomes infected and it progresses quite quickly. Other symptoms of diphtheria are light chills, sometimes there is vomiting and diarrhea, but always there is a foul smell to the breath. The patient has difficulty in swallowing and there is hoarseness. The patient is forced to breathe through the mouth. The patient is very tired and sleepy, and the tonsils appear inflamed and are a dark red color and unevenly swollen. There are white patches that look like parchment on the tonsils. The glands in the neck swell. Now if there's no white patches on the tonsils, the disease is not diphtheria. The first thing to do is to make certain that the immune system is in excellent health by a good nutrition and proper supplements of vitamins and minerals are being taken. I have outlined the basics of vitamins and mineral supplements in my videos on uh, by these names. In diphtheria, this disease moves quickly and you must treat it as soon as you think there's a problem. Speed is of the essence. If the patient has a sore throat or any kind of any kind, steep one teaspoonful of powdered gold seal and one teaspoonful of powdered myrrh with a pinch of cayenne in a pint of boiling water for a half hour. Gargle and swab the throat thoroughly with this solution. It will kill the poisons that are there. Keep doing this until you have the throat clean. A hot wet towel applied to the throat immediately followed by a cold compress will also give great relief. Give the patient two enemas a day consisting of a herbal tea made with bayberry bark or red raspberry leaves tea. Have the patient hold the herbal solution in the colon as long as possible as these herbs will help to kill the poisons. The patient must have three to four bowel movements a day. If this is not happening, you need to use herbal laxatives. The next thing to do is to induce vomiting with a bayberry bark and lobelia tea. Drink this tea lukewarm and quickly. After the patient has vomited once, it must be repeated until the stomach and throat are entirely clean. Bayberry not only cleanses the membrane, but destroys the odor and is as stimulating so that the membrane can be thrown off. It is also healing and antiseptic. After this, the patient uh, should hold a tablespoon of colloidal silver in their mouths for five minutes, making sure to let the colloidal silver run down the back of the throat to coat the tonsils, then swallow the colloidal silver. Do this three times a day. Next, the, give the patient orange juice and water with crushed vitamin C pills mixed into the orange juice frequently throughout the day. This will help to increase, increase the urination and basic energy levels of the patient. Next, give the patient a steaming 
by a pot of boiling water with a drop of eucalyptus oil in it. The patient puts their face over the pot of steaming water with a towel over their heads to create a tent effect, and they breathe in the steam. Do this once or twice a day. Have the patient chew two to three garlic cloves to help to remove the membrane and reduce the fever. Fresh pineapple juice helps to separate the membrane and eliminate toxic deposits from the throat as well, so include this. Make an herbal tea of the following herbs. Red clover blossoms, yellow dock, prickly ash berries, golden seal, and myrrh. Take one teaspoon of this herbal combination to a cup of boiling water and let it steep for five minutes. Drink it hot, four cups a day. The diet should be kept very light, consisting chiefly of fruit juices until the worst of the disease has passed. Then a light and nourishing diet is recommended afterwards until a full recovery is achieved. Now, I have a great many videos now on many different topics, so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.